In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Walmart selling account, as well as I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough for the Walmart seller dashboard. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Noah and I run a wholesale business selling on different platforms like eBay, Amazon, Shopify, and now Walmart. Recently, I made a video about how to actually apply for Walmart. However, once you complete the application, it's only going to grant you conditional approval. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the further steps and I'm going to be showing you how you can actually set up your account. So this way you're going to be able to go live and to offer your products on the Walmart marketplace. So really quickly, before I get into the video, I just want to share some news that was recently released. So Walmart actually partnered with Shopify to expand its online marketplace. And the reason that this is significant news is because it demonstrates that Walmart is actually making a lot of leaps and strides to make it easier for new sellers to start selling on their platform. So there are currently a lot less sellers than there are on Amazon, but there's still an insane amount of traffic. So this article highlights that Walmart marketplace has 120 million monthly visitors. And I read in an article that said that there are around 50,000 sellers while Amazon has around 300 million worldwide customers, but they have around 8 million active accounts. So just put that into comparison. There's a lot more competition on Amazon. So if you were able to start selling on Walmart, you're going to face a lot less competition and you're still going to have a lot of traffic. So welcome to the Walmart seller center. This is the place where you're going to get after you complete the application. Now, like I said in the beginning, your products are still not going to be able to go live. You're going to have to complete four steps before you can go ahead and you can actually offer your products on walmart.com. The main process for the onboarding process is that right now this account is live, so you currently don't see it. However, on the top, you're going to see something that's going to say onboarding inactive. So what that means is that it's going to either say onboarding active, onboarding inactive, depending on if you're onboarding. So there are four stages to the onboarding process and all of them are basically just setting up your basic company information. The first things that you need to do is you need to set up your company info. So you just need to write and you need to put in everything about your business. After that is customer service. So for your company information, you're just going to need to put in your display name. This is going to be the name that buyers are going to see. Also, you can put in a logo, but like it says, it's optional. And after that, you're just going to be putting in a company description. This is going to be a brief description about your business. So after you complete your company info, you're then going to head over to customer service and you're going to input all your customer service policy. Now you can leave this brief. You can write all of your customer service policies. I basically just copied what I had on Amazon and I just pasted it here and I tailored it to the Walmart marketplace. So once you complete the customer service, the next step is you're going to have to go and you're going to have to edit the manage contacts. What the manage contacts are is you have to assign a different role to a bunch of different people. Now, let's say you have only one person. So you would basically be the only role in your company, but you'd still have to put an email for the integration and the technical contacts. You would still have to put a different email for the business and the management contacts. And you would basically have to fill out each profile just because this is a separate part of your business and Walmart wants each profile filled out separately. The next step on your partner profile is you're just going to be editing your shipping profile. So here you have two choices. You can either go by the total price of the order or you can go by the item weight or the number of items per an order. I chose the first one. So now after that, you just have to set up your different shipping tiers. So of course, you're going to have to offer value shipping that is mandatory on Walmart. So again, you can't disable it right here. You'll see. And that's just going to be transit time three to seven days and the rate is going to be free. After that, you can choose whether or not you want to offer standard shipping. So you can make this a little bit faster and you can charge a little bit more money. So if the customer wants to go ahead and get the order a little bit quicker, you can have them pay a little bit extra. This can be an additional way that you can go ahead and you can bump up your profit margin. And also they have other shipping tiers. So you can offer new three day shipping. And then also you can enroll in the two day shipping program, which Walmart offers. So the last tier is next day, but if you're going to be drop shipping, this is going to be very expensive if you wanted to do next day deliveries. So I usually don't have that enabled on any of my selling accounts. So after that, what you have is you have your standard processing schedule. This is going to be the cutoff time for when you are going to have to accept orders for that day. So let's say it's Monday, you can go ahead and you can set your cutoff time. So you'll see that mine is at 2 PM. So if the customer places an order at one o'clock, therefore it will count that I have to ship it out for that day or if they place it on two o'clock or 259, then it's going to count for an order for tomorrow. The next section is you're just going to have to select your additional days off. So are you closed on weekends? Are there any holidays that you observe? You can basically go ahead and you can select when your warehouse or when your business is going to be off. 
After that, the next step is you're just going to be writing in your shipping policy. You can write if it's going to take longer for international, you can write the different rates for the different parts of the country. Whatever it is for your business, this is where you would write it. So the next step is the return section. This is where you're just going to set up all of your return rules. You can also provide your own carrier account if you want to to Walmart. You can go ahead and you can provide your return centers as well as you can also provide your return rules for different categories and different departments. The last step is your privacy policy, and this is where you're just going to go ahead and you can copy and paste this. You can just write a basic privacy policy that you would, that you don't collect any information, so on and so forth, and this is where you would paste that. So after you set everything up, you're then going to go ahead and you're going to complete the onboarding process, and after that, you're just going to submit everything, and after that, that's actually when I got the call. So typically, they'll call you after a few days. They say after 48 hours, but for me, I actually received the call a week after completing my onboard process, and then after the, that call, basically on the call, they'll just ask you to confirm a couple of your information, your email address, your business name, your business address, basic things like that. So after you confirm that, then about maybe a day after or about two days after, you'll receive an email saying that your account is now live and you can actually offer your products on walmart.com. So now that we've gone over how to complete the onboarding process and once your account is live, this is what your Walmart seller center will look like. So on the left, you're going to have three main tabs. This is going to be your items and inventory. This is where you can manage your items. You can add new items. You can see the feed status. So this is going to show you if your items are published, if your items are unpublished, if you have items that are processing or if they have errors. On top of that, you can also add inventory in bulk. You can do bulk updates such as prices, quantity. You can change things like the SKU, etc. And underneath that, you have your order management tab. This is where you're going to manage all of your orders, your returns and your refunds and your adjustments and your disputes and underneath that you'll have your analytics and reports this is where you can see all of your payments you can see all of your reports for your shipping reports all of your account metrics and everything like that so once you go live you can upload an item onto Walmart in three ways the first is you can click add a new item and you'll see that it'll give you three options the first is that you can add a single item and this would be if you wanted to add an item you would put the name you would put the UPC code and then you would put the category and once you put the basic information if the item is already on Walmart the information is going to populate and then basically you can put your offer on the listing that already exists similar to how it works on Amazon. However, if the item does not exist, you would have to fill in all the information, like all the item specifics, the images, and then the offer price. And then after that, you can submit it and then it would be live on Walmart. The other additional ways that you can add products are you can go to add new items and it's going to give you three options. So again, you can go ahead and you can add a single item or you can add items via bulk. So you would just download a CSV file, then you would fill in all the information and you can re-upload it and Walmart would go ahead and they would upload all the items in bulk. So the option that I use is I go and I add my items through API. So I actually use a software called SellerChamp and I use it to upload all of my items onto Walmart as well as I use it to update all of my items, keep track of the active stock as well as the active prices on my wholesalers websites. So other than that, you can just go and you can manage all of your orders. This is where you would click and you can ship your orders from here. You can also cancel your orders. And then in the overview and the performance tabs, basically you can just see how well your listings are doing. You can see how your performance as a seller is doing. And then in your payments tab, you can look at your past payments and if you have any money that is pending inside your Walmart account. So just to quickly talk about the payment threshold that is on new sellers. So you'll see that new seller payment hold, new sellers will experience a 14 day payment hold on each order fulfilled until they meet the criteria below. So this is for new sellers until 90 days have passed since your first order was shipped and you have sold over $5,000 in merchandise. So after you actually satisfy both of those criteria, then you'll go ahead and you'll be out of this restriction where you won't receive your money until 14 days after the transaction. So the last thing that I wanna quickly talk about is we've talked about using Walmart, we've talked about selling on Walmart. So recently Walmart actually came out with uh, what they call WFS, which is Walmart Fulfillment Service. So we're gonna quickly talk about that and what it actually is and how you can apply. So you would apply to have your products shipped into Walmart. It's similar to FBA. Like I said, you would just ship your products into Walmart. They would store it in their facilities. And then when you get an order for that item, they would handle the fulfillment. Now, currently it's not as robust as FBA. There's actually a lot of restrictions on the size of the item. And also they want to make sure that the items that you're sending in actually sell well because they don't want to be having inventory just sitting in their warehouses because like I said, it's not as robust as FBA. So they just want to make this as quickly as possible to get items in and to make sure that it gets to the customer very quickly. 
So once you get your products into WFS, that's going to give you the ability to sell your products on Walmart. And it's going to be similar to Amazon where it says sold by this, but shipped by Walmart. So it's going to say sold by your company. And then it's going to say fulfilled by Walmart. So the other option is if you did not want to use WFS and you didn't want Walmart to fulfill your orders, you can actually go ahead and you can use Deliver, which is Walmart's partner, and you can ship your orders into there. You can ship your items there and they will process your orders. They'll house your inventory and they'll ship it out whenever you get an order on Walmart. And again, this is going to be able or it's going to allow you to offer fast two day shipping. And it's also going to be able to allow you to win the buy box more often on your Walmart listings. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to learn something. So that's basically how you're going to complete your account and how you're going to set everything up. The other step is you're basically going to have to fill in all of your payment information, how you want to receive money. You can either do this through Pioneer or what's called HyperWallet. And those are your two options. So once you set everything up, you're then going to be able to have your account go live and you're going to be able to offer your products on the Walmart marketplace. So in the future, I plan to do a video on either WFS or on Deliver. So I might do a video. I actually signed up for Deliver. I'm going to see if I can use it to sell my products on Walmart. And I'm also going to see if I can apply for WFS to see if I can get approved. So I might make a video on that in the future. So let me also know if you'd like to see a video on how to process orders, as well as if you'd like to see how well my sales are doing on Walmart. As always, thank you guys for watching and taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope that you guys were able to learn something and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.